Hi, it's Ronnie, and welcome to Mixed Media Frenzy. That's where we all take the same sketch or layout, and today it is a layout, and use it as our inspiration to create. And it's also Baby Got Scraps, so I will be using scraps on one 12 by 12 paper. And this is a sketch for Mixed Media Frenzy, the smaller cluster on the left and the larger one on the right. And I'm going to use my stamp. <laughs> uh, platform from Tim Holtz and Close to My Heart Stamps. Two different sets. They're both old, so uh, they're discontinued, but they're ones I've had for a long time, so I am glad to get to use them on this layout. I was attending uh, Christina Sorge's Mixed Media Made Easy class. I'd been gifted with it, and she used stamps. She used stamps all the time. I use mine a little bit, and I have plenty because I went to a Close to My Heart workshop every single month for several years there, and do not use them near enough. It's outside of my comfort zone to use them on a layout. I'm more comfortable with a card because if I mess up, I can flip it over, do the other side. If that don't work, I can get another little small piece of cardstock to use. But when it's 12 by 12, you got to figure out other ways to either color, cover it up or something or flip it over and use the other side. But then, you know, you still got to get another 12 by 12 paper if you mess up very bad. So on a layout, it is not my go-to thing. I'm using three different colors and I'm kind of blending them together on the bigger stamps. And then on the smaller stamps, I'm just using one color after the other to use all three. And I love that swirl. I've got like two or three sets of stamps that have swirls from close to my heart. And I love them all. I mean, they I do think they add to a scrapbook page. I think stamping adds to a scrapbook page. But like I said, I get worried that I'm going to mess it up and don't do it. But I went for it since it was a challenge to do it. So, yeah, I am using stamps on my layout. And this one here has different things on it. Um, it also has flare, which I had flare out and forgot to use, but I use plenty of circles anyway, so I guess it's a good thing I didn't use them. That other stamp set there is like a game thing. You spin the arrow and it lands on something. Well, I'm going to use the individual words on my layout, not the rest of the stuff. These little words are like cute, fun, happy, uh, silly, energetic, I can't remember all of them, but the, I thought they'd go with the photo that I'm going to end up using. And I'm using gelatos with this too. I used our archival ink on the stamping. And then the gelatos, if you put them down and it's got something stamped or pattern paper underneath it, it's translucent so you can see whatever's underneath it still. And I picked the three different colors that I thought would go with the same colors, you know, that's in the ink, only lighter shades. The lime green, and then a lavender instead of an actual purple, and then a light blue. And I'm going to put all three of those on here. And I'm using the packaging technique because, you know, it, it makes like little splotches and puddles and little lines in the splotches. <laughs> I like the look of the texture of it. Most of the time I used to forget to use it because I'm so used to using a paintbrush when I do stuff with any kind of paint, but I've been embracing it for a little while now <laughs> and making sure I remember to do it. I also let some drip down onto the page and let it look like I, I raised my um, layout up so that it would kind of drizzle down it and add that look too because I like that look and so it's light compared to the ink it's not very dark and I'm just kind of putting it here there and everywhere except where my picture is going to go because I know my picture is going to be there and the paper I'm using is pretty bright and colorful it's from Colorbox you can get it at Walmart I think they still have it I know I bought it twice. This is my second package. I used the first one up. Of course, it took me maybe five years, but 
Five years later, there it was in Walmart still. So I got another package. But I thought it would go with the inks that I was using. And when I was looking at the scraps, I thought, oh, man, I'm doing baby got scraps. There's no purple. And after I got started with this, I thought, I, I am pretty sure I've seen a purple. How did I miss it? Well, I went and opened it in the very first page. Had one, and I had cut circles out of it, but I didn't pull it out. I just flipped the paint, uh, notebook up so that I could get the circles and didn't pull it out. But it's pulled out now because I had to cut more circles out of it. And I did consider inking with three different colors since I had three different colors in the background. But I decided just to go with that purplish pink color instead and do all of them in it. And... The, I'm only going to have three different sizes of circles, but I'm going to kind of bring them out from underneath the photo because in the original, you know, it shows stuff coming out from underneath the layers. And so I'm going to have my circles come out from underneath there. And that picture is of my great niece and nephew. <laughs> and he's the trickster. He's the one that likes to do photo bombs. Well, she was getting her picture taken and he jumped up there and threw his arm around her neck and got his picture taken too. And this is what the result is. This is no cropping of this photo. This is what the result of the photo is. I did have to cut a tiny bit off of white of the photo paper that didn't print. But yeah, this is, it, that don't count as cropping though. <laughs> Sometimes I'll print them out and I'll even come out with a little tiny picture on that four by six that I have gotten from whomever. Like they'll send it to me in a text. Their mommy sent this in a text, but it won't print out like it's supposed to print. And this one, I thought it was going to print out a full four by six, but it didn't. But that's all right. It's still adorable. <laughs> and... I, oh, I'm still adding the circles, which will take me a few minutes. And then I'm going to turn around and add, well, there, I think all through, no, two of them's dilution inks. And then one is a neon green that has no name. <laughs> it has nothing on it. It came in a box of four. But yeah, it, it, it's many years ago, and so I don't know the name of it, but it is a fluorescent color. So it goes really well with that lime green. And, uh, yeah, it, it was fun doing it and getting it so bright and colorful. And when I was doing the class, I thought, well, I'm going to pull out the sketches from Mixed Media Frenzy and work on them while I am doing this. Use what techniques she said to use. and go ahead and make my layout accordingly to the sketches that I needed them to. Yes, this one was damping. <sighs> but, you know, I'm glad I got it done. And it looked better than I was expecting. I told myself, you know, how it'll look blotchy. That green one up there looked really blotchy. And I just kept stamping it. And the one in the swirl on the upper right. And I told myself, no, they say if it looks blotchy, that it'll be fine when it dries. So I quit. You know, I, I went ahead and quit. So it looks better than I thought it was going to. But here's my splatterings with Crushed Grape by Dilutions, London Fog by Dilutions, and then the no-name fluorescent green that goes great with that green paper. So, yeah, bright and colorful page and something different. And, yeah, but if you look down there below, you'll see the links to all the other gals that are doing Mixed Media Frenzy with the same sketch that I'm using. Plus, plus, there will be names for everybody that's doing the Baby Got Scraps. So you'll have plenty of inspiration down there to look at. And if you leave a comment below, I'll get back with you. And if you liked the video and hit a thumbs up, I'd appreciate it. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, I'd love to have you subscribe. And those of you who already are, thank you so much. And there is a drawing for my 1500 subby uh, giveaway. It should have went up Wednesday, so a couple of days ago. 
be sure to look back there and put a comment in so your name will get in a drawing for the subby giveaway and uh yeah that's it that's my layout but i hope you all have a happy scrappy week take care and stay safe leave a comment on wednesday's i think it's wednesday's video and uh try this sketch and see how it goes use your scraps of course i did have bigger scraps than sometimes on today's layout which was pretty good too but take care everybody bye